This time we're going to explore another test for differences, but this particular test for differences has some different features to it. This is the multivariate analysis of variance, or the MANOVER. Now MANOVERs are used when we want to compare more than one dependent variable within the same analysis instead of running separate ANOVERs. In this scenario, the dependent variables shouldn't be strongly correlated when running our MANOVER. So think about physiological measures such as heart rate, oxygen uptake or blood lactate. These types of measures tend to be strongly correlated and they therefore violate the rule that we use when we're running MANOVERs. For example, if heart rate increases during an exercise test, it's likely that oxygen uptake and blood lactate will also increase. Therefore, they are quite strongly correlated. When we use a MANOVER, the dependent variables that we've measured shouldn't be correlated. One of the reasons we use MANOVERs, or one of the reasons I'm, I'm showing them to you today, is because they're often used in psychological research studies, where the dependent variables that are measured don't often correlate. Now the example that we've got here is a comparison of English and maths grades between male and female students. So, for example, you might get some students who do really well in English, but really poorly in maths. Hence, their grades do not correlate. So we can analyse this data using a MANOVER. So essentially, we can compare more than one dependent variable within the same analysis. So we'll cut straight to the chase and go into the SPSS spreadsheet. We enter this data in much the same way as a one-way ANOVER or the paired uh, the independent samples t-test. We've got two groups essentially so again our, our main grouping variable is gender I've labelled my males or my boys number one and my females or girls number two. Have our first dependent variable that's going into the analysis which is English grade and our second dependent variable which is going into the analysis which is maths grade. We've got a variable view. Remember, gender is a nominal variable because we've assigned numbers to our, to our categories, to our male and female categories, but English and maths are both scale measures. They're measured on an interval scale. So to run this analysis, if we click on Analyze, and we go General Linear Model, and then we go to Multivariate this time, I've placed my dependent variables in the dependent variables box. This is the thing that we're measuring, or these are the things that we're measuring, but our fixed factor is our gender. We click on options. Notice that I've, I've asked to display means for everything. I want to compare the main effects, and I want the descriptive statistics. I also want a post hoc test here, so I'm going to use Bonferroni. And that's pretty much all I need to do to run this particular analysis. I don't really need to look at anything else. So if I click continue, SPSS and then OK of course, SPSS will run this analysis for me. Now the first thing we need to look at is the descriptive statistics. So if we look at English first, we've got males 1, females 2. Quite similar English scores, females were a little bit higher. If we look at maths though, females were quite a bit higher than the males on the math scores and the overall math score was higher than the English score. Look at the next box on the multivariate tests next to gender and look at all the significance values. They are all significant so it would suggest that there's something going on here that there's some effect of gender on our scores and then if we look a bit further down at the tests of between subject effects we can see that between the genders there was no significant difference in English scores because we've got 0 0.314, but there was a significant difference between the genders on their math scores. So clearly, females achieved significantly higher math scores than males. And that's pretty much all there is to the MANOVER. We've got our two dependent variables there, English and maths, and our group, gender, and that's how we run a MANOVER in SPSS.